Good day everybody, Rob here. Welcome back to the Commonwealth and to Sanctuary Hills. Hello Groucho, Jet, Vault Girl, glad to see you guys made it in. Good day everybody. Rob Let's here. try to not have an echo caused by my own ineptitude. There's a couple of things that uh, I just want to touch on before we start building. It's early in the morning, obviously. Um, if you look at the back of the house here, you can see that uh, you have the window. It's damaged, but still semi-solid wall right here. And then another hole on the other side of the refrigerator. But on the inside, there's your damaged but still semi-solid wall. Just something I noticed while I was monkeying about doing my uh, pre-stream setup. The other item that I noticed during my pre-stream setup was that some of my plants have fruited. Which means that you know the ones that are still maintained are actually growing. That was great news. I was going to store them and put, uh, well, actually this is a save from earlier in the day, so you're not going to see that. Um, that meant that I could store them and then give the person responsible for them other jobs. But as you're going to see here, And I have very strong suspicion on this one. Everybody is assigned again. I assigned June to farming a long time ago. And I just highlight him and I can see all of the fruit that he... Or the plants he is farming. It works out just wonderfully, right? He's got three potatoes there, three corn there. He's got two corn and one tato up in the front. So that's a total of five corn, four tatoes, and a moot fruit off near the curb. I built a guard shack right here and assigned him to it. I then stored all these plants that he's assigned to working. Leaving alone the ones that nobody's assigned to. And as soon as I left workshop, everybody quit their jobs at the same time and walked to the center of town. And we're hanging out in the street in front of the house. All the guards quit, all the shopkeepers quit. And I have no idea why. I see that they're not just automatically quitting while I'm walking around here. So I suspect it had to do with me removing those things from the game. Yes, it's not a fruitless endeavor, Groucho. Roughly every three in-game days, it becomes fruitful. <coughs> However... Yeah, it was, it was one of those things that, that really caught me off guard. I didn't expect them all to quit. Um, I did look uh, really quickly in Google search for an explanation. And the only thing that I've heard, seen so far that approaches an explanation is it has to do with Automatron. Uh, the only examples I have that state that it has to do with Automatron were from removing Automatron, not from uh, actually using it. But it was three different people who had the same problem uh, with Automatron when they removed it. So that's where that search ended. I quickly posted in SARS Discord if anybody has seen it. Uh, hi, Barbarian King. Brookie, good to see you. 
Uh, if anybody knows more about the settlers suddenly wanting to be unemployed issue, please feel free to give me a heads up on it. Uh, other than that, I am going to be trying to do something with Kate's house. That's what this is here. Um, once we're done with Kate's house, I'm going to skip over the Soul Survivor's house for today and move down to the Yellow House, which I think is still being used for multiple residents. Let me just check really quick. We've got one, two, three, three beds still inside here. So that'll get a refresh. Maybe I'll give Kate a roommate. Maybe I won't. Um, Kate's house is quite the disaster, but it's also small, so I don't know if it's going to be big enough for her and a roommate. She's kind of boisterous, you know. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to try and get a ceiling in place and close off some of these walls. Now, what I've noticed... That wall is, is actually fine. I just need to find a way to close off that window. And that window is flat against the uh, house here. It's not a bump out. So I can just put a piece of glass in there. The way I showed you last week with the uh, warehouse bins. But this one here, I'll have to put a wall piece in. No idea what I'm going to be able to do with this. I might just close that off with... Uh, wood and let the window be in the rear of the house only but uh no matter what i did last week i was unable to get the uh roof pieces to, or the floor pieces that i was using to close the ceiling off to settle into place so what i'm going to do is the old-fashioned original method for dealing with houses here in Sanctuary. Uh, this is the only place I have left that's clear enough for me to place objects and not pick up everything around them. Um, Want to real quick go over this? This house is five foundation squares lo long from this side to the end of the carport and it is three and a half deep so in order to close it off I'll need to build a five by three and we have one two and in the third one we see a hole in the wall so that's what I'm going to use, take advantage of the hole in the wall for my first piece. Now we want to build a five by three and a half floor above this floor. So that's three, four, five. I can actually do away with that. Monkeying about in uh, trying to figure out what was going on here in Sanctuary. These did not uh, 
pick up any of the plants. I'm hoping that remains true during my... That's the only thing I actually tested this morning <laughs> as far as building goes. I, I try not to do any advanced testing because my mind changes so often while I'm doing things it's, it's really not even fruitful for me to do that. But when I tested to see if this overhang was going to pick up these plants, it did not. I am hoping... Nope, looks like I still have all those mute fruit trees right there. Pause for a moment and take a look at the chat. Everything looks like you guys are socializing rather pleasantly. Naturally, Rob left the furniture in the only spot that's in the way. If you recall last week, I moved all the furniture I thought I needed to move. surface snap off because I want to get this floor piece just above the actual floor. And surprisingly is most people try and hide these in the wall. I'm trying to actually get it a little bit sticking out so it does look like they've done the repairs with scraps of wood. Now, everywhere we look, we should have no holes in the ceiling, and it sticks out just a little bit on the front. It's one of those things that probably half of one of those quarter floors difference in size. But if I took them out, the roof would leak. It's not quite as far over as I need it to be. Here's hoping... I didn't worry about this bed because it's low enough. It's still not, it's still looking like it's not getting all the way to that wall. And if I did this right, it should be. Unless I count wrong, and I, I frequently count wrong. I did. It is five and a half wide and three and a half deep. So let's go put this back and put the half pieces back on one end because we do not want to have water coming through the floor or ceiling.
once again we want it to be just higher than a floor level and just enough through the wall that it looks like we've intentionally made the repair. by nailing wood up across the holes. Now we're covered all the way in both directions. And that overhang is not too far. And on the outside it it's not sticking out really. Excellent. So now we can get rid of that because we are done with the uh, maneuvering of the ceiling. Now, a lot of us got our start on consoles and did not have any mods at all available to us this was the only way you could put some kind of roofing in most of these houses I should turn surface snap back on so there's even though I am in a modded playthrough, you're going to, especially in a place like this, you're going to see that some of the old tricks still are the best to go with. Now, of course, we are in a modded playthrough, so now I'm going to do what consoles can't do. Just put a window into this wall without having to fight with the pillar glitch. And surface snap off for this again. And I noticed last week or the week before, when I was putting windows in place, I couldn't line up very well the, uh, the center post, because it would always look off when I was done. And I was confused by the fact that it was so frequently so far off. And... It came to my attention that I wasn't standing square on the piece when I did that. Now this one, because of the corner, can't quite be lined up. So I'm going to try and make the appearance that the panes are even smaller than they originally were. It looks about square. Wonderful, I get the rainy season. It's so enjoyable. Doesn't see eh, it's slightly kicking through here, but not that you'd notice terribly. And apparently giving myself a couple of hours is in order to
Now at least I get a couple more hours of, of light before I have to completely give up on this one for the day. Not terrible. This one is so much smaller now. This one I don't have to worry about the uh, corner of the house, so getting this lined up is a little bit easier. And because of the way that they blocked the sides of this window, between there, uh, I'm not sure what those black objects are that are in the way, but their decoration and my wall repair. It really does just line up great in a way that Looks like that's how they were all along. Yeah, I'm very glad that I discovered, and I hope that I didn't ignore somebody telling me what that was uh, two, three weeks ago when I was doing the other house about not being centered on the wall while doing that uh, window trick. Um, I hope I wasn't ignoring somebody, but I'm glad that I noticed that you have to be centered on the piece you're working with and moving flat against the wall that you're repairing to line up that center post and not have it be off-center when you're um, when you're done with it. Okay. That one doesn't quite do what I'd like it to, so let's go to half walls and see what we've got. Like, there's a good, good one. looking repair job and now it's not only got another rainstorm coming in it's late keep leading and I'll follow you thanks McReady deal right I gotta lead you to somewhere else and leave you there where I'm not trying to build If one of you fine people would be good enough to remind me sometime around midweek to take him somewhere where he's not here, that would be awesome. Because <laughs> at least Kate is not as... Not quite as chatty as him. But I'll, I'll probably move Kate too when I move him. Okay. Oh, still have surface snap off. I think this is going to stay Kate's solo pad. Yeah, I put that on there. So here's what we'll do. We'll put that on there like that. And 
again, for those who are playing on console, moving furniture up against the wall this way is really simple. I don't want it in the wall, but I do want it against the wall. And I'm preaching to the choir in most instances, instances here because... Jeez, Sturgis. Sneak up on a person, why don't you? Okay, this has got to be... Bigger than that piece. And that's not quite tall enough. But if I take surface snap off, I can nail it up instead of down. an almost intended window to look out. Oh. That's better. Okay, they don't have a stove in here. Or a counter with a sink. So let's get them something that looks like a kitchen. It's not decorations, it's... it's there's kitchen stuff. I don't need a whole kitchen. Even that one's too big, isn't it? Yeah, it's... It would take the place of that corner unit. Or edge unit. If I put it just a little bit further back... No, because then it's just blocking the inside anyway. So I, c I could use this and lose the, uh, what is this, a dishwasher? I don't know what that was. Let's see if there's, there's just not a shorter ca counter with a sink, is there? There's a beat up stove of the appropriate appearance. I think I'm just going to have to get rid of this, uh, the, th these bars here hanging out, there's, uh, narrower doors that have them as well. That really annoys me. Hi, Di. Didn't see you slip on in. Mike, good to see you. So, yeah, I'm thinking because they don't have 
one of these without that little corner piece, I'm going to get stuck with it. Mostly because I want a sink in here. And they have no other counters with a sink. In case you're wondering why I moved it before I scrapped it, I wanted to be darn sure I wasn't uh, scrapping the wall. Because Rob has scrapped a few, wall, a few uh, buildings on accident and had to reload past saves. And that brings their kitchen back to sort of what it looked like in the past. Let's give them a wall. Wow, that's way too wide. I guess I will use half walls. You see that thing sticking out right there, I think gives a pretty good indicator visually of where the uh, end of the wall should have been. wondering. No, these walls are not straight up and down. So there's a limit to how precisely you can cover them up. However, You can do a pretty good job making it look nice. Uh, pull that just a hair back. I hit the trigger. I want to thank everybody for attending Rob Fights with the Controller Season 2. And this one... I think I'm standing on a chair. At least I hope it's a chair and I didn't just start randomly floating through this house. So I feel like Kate has a good... L yeah, I stood on that chair, apparently. Uh, Kate would have a good thought about what she wanted her house to look like, and she put some effort into making the one wall look really nice, and you know, she took her time doing it. And by the time she finished that, and she couldn't quite deal with these wall frames and still had to you know, make provisions for that, she just said, screw it. And got herself some plywood and fixed this wall up a little bit. Let's 
Because I don't think of pa Kate as the most patient of characters in the game. Ah, uh, she, Brookie, she might appreciate a dartboard, and if I have one in my menu, I haven't seen it yet. I'll take a look for you, though, because Kate would definitely do a dartboard. No, I can give her a... Uh, Robot poster, which I don't think is her style, a Nuka World clock, or a basketball hoop. I agree, she would definitely be into a dartboard or a, well, heck, maybe even a piece of artwork that could double as a dartboard because that's the way she is. Uh, it would be abstract art, wouldn't it? Disturbed paintings, not her style. Portraits, traditional paintings, abstract paintings. You'd have to have something that looked kind of, sort of like a uh, target. Now she just needs something to throw at it. Is this a real stove? No, it's not. Okay, I have to go to a workbench. Because I know I keep some combat knives. And maybe the game will be just nice enough to me to allow me to stick it into it. Yeah? You gotta love somebody who walks up to you and says, Yeah? Like you asked them something. In case you can't tell, in this game, I am an absolute pack rat. I throw nothing away. Now, I know if I just pick this up and try and walk it over there, it's going to... Uh, fail to do what I want it to. How about if I do... Nope. Well... That was definitely not going to work. You probably all knew that already. Yeah, definitely Kate would be throwing knives at, at items like that. And I'm not convinced that I can't figure out a way to put something sticking out of that. But that's going to be a brain teaser for me because I really feel like uh, there's more to it. I will find a way," he said with an assur with assurance that he doesn't actually feel. Again, th I love this piece of corrugated metal. I 
I think this is the only door that it would be a viable patch for. The only wall, I should say, not door. Because from this side, it's... See, I almost did it. From this side, it's clearly patched over. The panel that's exposed the wiring in the wall is fine. And on this side, it's closed off. Buildable sandbags and bunkers mod. I have not, Russ. Um, this week has been a little bit busy for me, and The Quonset Hut? I'll have to take a look at it. I'm not familiar with... Well, I know what a Quonset Hut is from... Uh, my time in the military, actually. But, uh... Where is it? Is it all the way down here? That's the closet. There we go. Now this one... I might be able to turn surface snap back on to help me out here. We don't want it at all uneven. Because we don't want it to clip through the wall when it slides. Okay, let's see if I did that correctly. Now it clips just at the end. Actually, looks like the wall stops it because of the handle, but on this side now it well, it covers that pretty well. It's not like it's ever going to be closed because once a settler walks by, they're going to open it, and then they'll open it every time they see it closed. But I'll know it's there. Kate could probably use an upgraded bathroom. Yeah, I'll... I'm gonna give her a better toilet. Because I'm a nice guy. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna give her a new toilet, that's for sure. But that one looks more functional anyway. All right, well, you're trying to climb up on top of the towel rack? That doesn't make sense. Well then. some uh, amenities. And now she's never going to ask me again why I collect newspapers in the Commonwealth. 
Who am I kidding? Of course she is. Okay. Hmm. I want to give her a nicer bed than this. That's not nicer. I feel like that's not the best place for her bed. She's not the kind of person who would put it under the window, so. Should be too worried about somebody shooting in through the window. I suppose she needs some lighting in this house. Awesome, that's not seen by the game as a surface. That's okay. Oh, I don't know about y'all, but almost every bathroom in old houses I've ever been in. I, and I am talking old, old houses. Would have a single bare bulb. Did I get that in the right spot? It did, almost. I'm going to have to go up on the roof to make sure that the... Uh, power is connected far enough back here. Yep. I know there's power at the front of the house. Who put that there? <laughs> I didn't put that there, did I? When did that happen? And now I don't know if it's open or closed. Did I miss something? Did I move that while I wasn't paying attention? Where's the door behind me? There it is. It would not be the first time that I completely missed something that I did, but darn, that seems unlikely <laughs> that I could forget moving that door. No, that's not okay. There we go. And 
on the inside it looks correct too. And now to rinse and repeat on that door. Because the bathroom needs to have a door. Did I just randomly drop that in place and have it be in the right spot? No way. No way. Wow. I couldn't do that twice if you paid me. Barricades and guard posts, sandbag fortifications by Nudilator and Etheron. I, w I will dedicate several hours of the coming week to just going over mods that you've suggested, Russ, because... I have not been disappointed by reading anything in the list you've provided. And the only reason I haven't actually completed going through the list is because I've been going through and tracking the ones that I found interesting. But uh, I got myself tied up with a few other projects here at the house, and of course you know that I do participate in die streams during the week, so my week is a little hectic, and I s tend to give less time to myself in my surfing than I probably should. Alright. She has a bedroom. A bathroom. Little place to eat and to and sit down and relax. She has a radio that she will never turn on, so I will never turn it on. Let's face it, nobody really wants to listen to Diamond City anyway. I really would have thought that those power connectors were close enough for that bathroom, but I guess it's not. So, yeah. If I put this one here, now I'm going to fall off this roof. That's the second part of today's program, falling off roofs it repeatedly. Put this one here, and then another one here. That should definitely do it. Alright, we've got a bathroom light. I know what the bathroom needs. It's furnishings. She 
she needs a mirror. Wow, it it really does not like going on the wall directly above the sink, that's for sure. And this one's new. I don't want new. There we go. She can clean herself. She has her own private bathroom. She can cook for herself. She can have friends over. Still need to come up with a uh, plan for that that Fairly certain is just going to be a half wall. Half wall. Patch on the outside of the house. Is it already late in the day here? Wow, the time flies. We've managed to get Kate's place patched up and livable. Now I just have to find where she's roaming and reassign her to the bed because... I changed her bed so she won't know it's hers. Even though, in theory, she should recognize the house she's been sleeping in for the last six months. There she is. Try not to look at the ground. Come on. I assigned her. I used the assign button. Okay. Once again, that bed, it's got to be something about that bed. That bed did not, at the other place, did not let me assign people to it either. Uh, where was the other place that it wouldn't let me assign? Uh, somebody's house, or... Somewhere we built here in Sanctuary, I used one of those beds with the gray blanket, and it would not let me assign somebody to it. Let's see what the reaction is to the brown blanketed bed. Sturgis just chilling out. Yeah, it is that bed, for sure. Good to know. I feel
feel like Kate would have just one more light in here, but it's hard to pick one for that corner that feels like it's her, you know? This one, is, there's plenty of light lighting up this side of the room, which that bulb really shouldn't be lighting that, but I'm not going to complain. I suppose if she went scavenging in Concord and found one of these, she could have found two. It seems to me like she'd more likely find two that were just a little bit different. And say, well, it's good enough. Looks far more like a homey place to live. I don't think that the carport needs to be closed in, but maybe I'll do that after giving it a few months worth of thought. It is nighttime, so I'm going to, uh, sleep away the darkness, because I know that, especially for folks on phones and tablets, it can be difficult to see in the dark. So let me uh, do that now. Uh, last week, uh, not this past Friday, the Friday before, uh, on a whim, and I were on her uh, fallout, and she was building street lamps out of normal lights with the existing street lights. And I thought the light pool from this would just continue going as far as it would. Uh, you know, as far as the ground, no matter where you put it. It appears that this is about as tall as you can get them and still get a light pool out of the generic ceiling lights. Uh, she put them on the taller poles and no light reaches the ground. So, for those of you who are considering lighting up some existing light poles, be aware that if it's significantly higher than a ceiling would be, you are not going to have light reaching the ground. You know, if that's what, if you just want the light to appear to be on but not bright enough to light up the area, that could be a good thing. Just so you know. Okay. Another beautiful sunny day. Here in Sanctuary Hills. I wonder how many of these people are going to get underfoot today. Okay. This wall has a hole in it. But just the one. This wall is a hole. This window is flat. That's an, a unique window. This house appears to be of a similar size to the one we just did. It may in fact be the same size as the one we just did. No, it is slightly larger. So, my guess is that this is going to be six wide and might even be four deep.
Yeah, it might be four deep. Let's see. Uh, let's see what I can do. Put that down there. I can definitely block off this in the repairing of the ceiling process. So that's a good thing. So anybody remember uh, the two or three time a year cleaning that mom and dad did in the house and they put all the chairs up on top of the dining room table? I still remember that stuff. When I was younger, I didn't understand why. Then I got places of my own and discovered, wow, that's the best way to clean the floor. You don't have to work around anything. And then I had children who didn't understand why. And you couldn't tell them anything. So now I know why I didn't know until I had my own place. Three and a half deep. Yep. And being I'm... Um, it's letting me do it. I'm not going to complain. Okay, so this is... So that's one, two. That's number two. So three, four, five, six by three and a half. Six by three and a half, and the first stake sticked out, stuck out, sticked. Uh, use your language, boy. Use your language. Okay, it stuck out about to this weather line. So, from here, that's going to be number three and four. We'll need walls. So, let's do this again. Ah. This one doesn't matter because it's a sacrificial. Six by three and a half. Wow, I hope that I got enough room for that. It would help if I used a wall. You know, I don't want to use that wall. Use that wall. And that wall. That's three.
any of you are familiar with Davy at no respawns, he does this same method of closing off the ceilings of the houses here in Sanctuary. And he actually goes up on top of here and lays a second layer to get rid of as many of these gaps as he can. Um, he says it drives him nuts to see those little gaps. Um, it doesn't really bother me, but if it does bother you, you will have still some gaps, but nowhere near as much light can get through if you put another layer up there. Um, if you're... Davy does do great junk. As a matter of fact, I'm going to, uh, unless you, anybody, unless y'all say you don't want it, I'm going to go up on top and lay the floor down the way he does, in case you haven't seen his video. I don't think anybody's going to object. You, you're usually an agreeable crowd. If you try and put floorboards up here, they're going to snap to the edge. So what you need to do is get them lined up as close as you can. And I'm going to turn these the opposite way to even further reduce the light going through. On a central piece, got it correct, you'll know right away. Now, I, I chose the wrong board, so let's do that again. Okay, we can see where the border is. It's one, two, three, four boards down. And we're almost in line this way. One of the things that I like about this method is it does make the ceiling just completely defined. And being we know it's three and a half, I'm just putting my half pieces in the middle on the second layer. What happened to that? There we go. Sometimes I wonder about this thing, this game. Because 
there's so many surfaces it can snap to, it's trying to snap to the ones I don't want it to. And there we go. Now, with it being double layered thick, when you come down here, very few of these holes actually are letting any light in through. So that was your quick tip of the day. Now I have to remind myself the last one was about three tiles from the edge here. So right about even with this bar. If I'm not mistaken. And this is one, two, and that's on number three. This should line up, once it's in the wall, on that third tile. And naturally I have to maneuver around the bed because I'm too lazy to take the bed out. not actually too lazy to take the bed out. I just try to do a minimum of relocating objects if at all possible. Let's see how it looks like I'm off. So how far off am I? Wow. Further off than I would have imagined. Let's see if that's about right. Seems to be accurate on this side. Comes out to just short of the interior wall. I could go one more tile and have the entire living area covered. actually go probably a half tile. Let's see what a full tile looks like. Okay, it comes right to there. I That's definitely at least the interior of that outside wall. And now we have the entire ceiling covered. We might even have the option we do if I catch it just at the right angle. How bad is that on the outside for that one piece? If I'm closing off that carport, that's not terrible. Let's 
So let's see. I put that there. Will that rain gutter prevent me from... It won't stop me from snapping onto here. But then I have to come up with something to cover the bottom. I think we can do that. in the world to work with, so... Really only have to account for the ground right there, and I mean... I could see a settler building that way. to a technical difficulty. There we go. I'm glad you're here too, Soul Dweller. Uh, You know, I hadn't thought about that, Russ, but that tall post would be a, a great help in lining up the corner of the house. Because it, it, I would have been able to uh, see it more readily, but I think that we uh, managed to pull this off pretty well. The ceiling's all in there. It, it looks like the electrical is still below the repair, so... When I wire this up, it won't look completely absurd. And this is walled off the entire area of the broken outside wall, except for this corner, which I was going to have to use half walls in anyway, if I want to close that off. This window is not a bump out, but and ne neither are these two. So this doesn't... Oh, it's got the bump out in the front room there. So I should be able to line these up. Now this is going to be a little bit of a hassle trying to line up the window from the outside. I might have to do it from the inside only. But that's not terrible. And now they have a enclosed area here. I wonder. So if I do that, that's... Granted, it would be a poor person's house, but that could be a house all of its own. Poor person in, in our world, in the Fallout world, you probably consider yourself rather wealthy to have a place like this. Now, if that's sticking out too badly in the wall in there, I can remove it. But, it covers that hole in the wall. And it's sticking... Oh, it's right through the center of the safe, and I don't want to lose the safe, so we're not going to do that. And that's definitely, uh... Yeah, I really like that. Somebody... N oh. Well, I'm going to want to change that, however. Don't want the same texture two times in a row. So 
Let's let's move these. Less obvious, and if not, I can use that third one. It's still kind of obvious. What does that do to break up the texture? Absolutely nothing. Now it's different texture. Clem! Good to see you. Sorry I didn't see you come in. From metal structures, there's a wall that I can put in, so let's... Let me both say green, I don't think they're both green. Walls. a narrow one, although I could use one of the corner pieces. Now, that would look hokey. Non-supported. Whereas with the half wall, I can come in here. Like that. doesn't go inside the house. So that's a... Uh, oh. I'm going to have to move that just so I'm capable of seeing what I'm doing there. This one... deep inside the wall. And I'm breaking my rule. It's not going to be centered if I'm not standing square off to it. In theory, that's... That's not going to be a 
sticking out, but I bet it is almost completely sticking through. These walls certainly look thicker. than they truly are. That looks a lot better, but if I put it any further through, it's going to be sticking out on the inside. off that wall there. Oh. Whoever sleeps in this bed is moving into the shack. Hope they enjoy their new privacy. Uh, Russ, I do have place everywhere. Uh, vault window. I, you know, I never even thought about the vault windows. I think they're in the doors section, yeah? See, the vault windows... I could do a crossbar in the middle and sink that in there. And then line that up like that. wonder how terrible that looks. That doesn't look actually terrible at all. Thanks, Russ. <laughs> I never would have thought of the vault windows for that. Uh, a long time ago, I used uh, the round vault windows on... PlayStation to uh, cover those walls. Yeah, that's the heavily boarded side. Uh, cover those windows. I I had a uh, whole pattern that that I went through every time I wanted to do it. I'd, I'd stand one up and then I'd use a pillar to move it to uh, overlap with another one and then when I use the other one I'd use a pillar and a conduit to move it over to the house and carefully put it in place and it was actually a hassle and a half to get it lined up after all of that and as you know PlayStation is not super forgiving So, uh, needless to say, it was, uh, a difficult task, to say the least, and it was unforgiving enough that I didn't want to do it a lot. And then to make matters worse, when I did do it, it didn't look good either. 
which, yeah, you know, when I was doing it originally, it looked like, oh, this looks like a great idea. I can do this, and it'll uh, do exactly what I want it to do. Oh, I use this piece a lot. I'd cover existing windows with this piece, and then put the round window in that. And I just should have known better. And this one looks like it's going to need two pieces to uh, cover this well. This could be another use of this. Because the top doesn't need covering. If that's not sticking out in the back. Yes, quick, run through the border. Oh, yet another one of those things that I hadn't noticed until I came back here to check my work. This hole is far larger on the inside than it is on the outside. I'm pretty sure we all could see right through this area of the piece. As a matter of fact, here, let me grab the piece that I'm trying to patch. I can't grab that plywood. Oh well. I'll, I'll look at it later and verify that I'm not losing my mind, but uh, I'm sure that hole was bigger. And I did things like this on PlayStation. And had to do, do all this maneuvering with it on a pillar at the end of a conduit. And you get it just to where you think you're not seeing anything. And you put that piece in. And you run around the outside. And it's not sticking through. And that covers that window. Yeah, I'm telling you, Russ. If I do this for another 20 years, I'm going to end up, you know, just needing your brain in a jar next to me to make sure that, uh, I'm doing things right. I know I could just live stream and have you, uh, logged in to give me the ideas, but what if I don't want to live stream? Then I won't have you to give me the ideas. Okay, if I do line this up this way, I can see the marker, but not the board. And on the outside, I can barely see the boards. I think that's acceptable. Uh-huh. I will have to do my best to remember that. I actually went through and looked at the uh, listing on... What is... What is... Oh, it's outside and inside. Turn snap off. 
It's trying to stick to everything but what I want it to. Now I have to... Here, let's see if I can put more obstacles in my way. Rob Fights with the Environment, Volume 2, coming up. Get square onto the wall. Yeah, Rob's still fighting with the environment. Barely see the lines. Can see the window sill. Here. You can go back over there. not high enough. It's just up slightly. That looks much better than the one on the side, even. And on the inside, it looks good. We're going to call that done. And again, I have worked my way through the fallout day. So, let me uh, get us back to the next morning. When we're done with the uh, sleep period, I'm going to take a quick break to grab something to drink and uh, give you and the fine folks a chance to grab a snack, grab a drink. Stand and survey my work. It is almost looking like a full blown house. There is no power in there yet, but I'm going to take a quick break, get myself a, a fresh drink. I should be back in about five minutes. I hope you guys are having a great time here, and we'll knock out. Uh, one more house, I think, before uh, my throat completely gives up. So until then, be right back.
Okay, everybody, I'm back. I see Russ has got his puppies going outside. Uh, yes, Dweller, I am uh, playing modded. Uh, some of these walls are... Oh, pardon me. Some of these walls are very soft, but there's a lot of collision issues when I uh, was playing on the PlayStation. It was very difficult. Mother Nature never ceases to amaze. Through all the post-war devastation, the sunrise is still quite impressive. Thank you for that deep thought, Codsworth. Anyway, uh, a lot of surfaces inside these houses have big collisions. Thank you, Barbarian and VG. I appreciate it. Okay. Time to try and put these people's furniture back where it was. help if I turn the surface snap back to normal. <coughs> Pardon me. Wow, taking a drink of water was supposed to make my throat feel better, not make me cough more. Okay, so this person has one bed in a room. Oh, I didn't deal with that yet. Okay. This has one bed in a room. I need to put a wall up on this bathroom. I should block out that bedroom as well. And then we're going to have to power this building. See, this is one of those instances where I honestly wonder if Bethesda resized these assets. Working here in Sanctuary makes me think that a lot of these assets are not the standard size. I apologize for my cough. I honestly thought my getting a drink of water would soothe my throat a bit.
this is the door that I was talking about. This would have had to have been the door location. However, if this was the door location, why are these poles sticking out? On this side, obviously the electrical was coming down, but that door would never be wide enough. if that was the case. So it's definitely something uh, non-standardized in sizing. In my opinion. I'm far from the expert, but And this one right here. On this floor, you can see there was no... I can push that post further into the room. You can see that on these doors there's nothing on the floor. This one would have been half the size of the normal doors. Again, it doesn't make sense to me that that was what happened, so... I have to be guessing that they've resized something when they were building this. At least now the bathroom has some privacy. No. Let me do something about that. Now it looks less creepy. The bathroom has some privacy. Um, don't know what they would use this room for. Could even be used as another bedroom if they needed to. And of course we have this bedroom to finish blocking off. What is that trying to jump up on? Wow, is that far out? All right. 
Whatever it's trying to jump up on, it's annoying. A lot of these interior walls in the uh, vanilla game are very soft to work with. Um, so these are a lot easier to patch. Then, oh, jeez. Uh, the interior walls were a lot easier to patch than a lot of the exterior walls. I don't know if that's a uh, product of how they were uh, pre-combined. Because obviously they had to build these houses somehow and then combine them out. This just does not, at least this way, it's different textures facing the viewer at any given time. Hey, Dalton, good to see you. You know, Russ, I, I don't doubt that they did it on purpose. I don't think they did it on purpose to try and stop us from being able to seal things up. I think they more likely just did it on purpose because... They wanted it to be difficult and anticipated this would make people feel more like they were in some kind of wasteland. Like they, they didn't have the amenities that they had grown accustomed to. This is not in use, so I can change that out for a nicer bed. And not worry about who it is that I'm kicking out of their bed. I'd like to assume that Bethesda didn't wake up intending to screw the users, knowing that it's probable that uh, they woke up with exactly that idea that day. This really is too big for just one bed. And the dresser. Um, I could scrap the entire settlement and build a, uh, better layout and a military base. Um, not what this character's playthrough has been about, though, so it would, uh, not fit my storyline. And, you know, that's at least important for our individual characters because if we don't 
see them as people with their own ideas, it breaks the role play. Now let's see if I can turn this refrigerator and not lose the door. I can. I know if you just grab it from the door, it, the door comes off. Now they don't get a sink at all. Oh well. These are just people named Settler, so I'm not worried about them. Wow, that's just far out from the window. This one has somebody assigned. What are you doing standing here? Creepy actions of the people in this game really get startling sometimes. Okay, this is... Oh, I know what I was going to do next. I need to give this house some power. in wood. There we go. That's close enough for government work. Gets me started up here. In theory, turn surface snap off. Should be enough to power every room in the house. So let's this person unfortunately you are going to need to stay with your craptastic little bed. But on the plus side, you've got a nice little room.
Yeah, it does not believe that's a surface either. Okay, so that piece I put on the side of the chimney is not close enough for that. But it would be over here. So I do have to get something over to the uh, edge of the house. Which is a good thing because I would not have any power in the carport. How fancy can I get? That should be... It is. person can have a little side table too. And maybe they're more of a uh, reader. So they can have that nice fancy light. Wow, that thing is bright. remember. One of these has a uh, ceiling fan I was going to take out. There it is. Let's see if I can avoid getting stupid. Because part of me wants to see if I can hang this inside the old light shades. You know what? I'm going to try it. The worst that happens is I mess it up. Definitely need it close enough that I can see what I'm doing. The absolute worst that happens is I mess it up, right? I'm not going to do both of them. Because I think that these lights are way too bright anyway. Let's give this room a light. This hallway doesn't need a light, but... feel like it would have one. Try and put it as if it's mounted here. This 
which is not a lot of selection in us. That has to be wired. It's a trip. I like that light. It's also way too bright. But this one, not so much. Apparently Codsworth has decided this is his house. He hasn't done anything today except for stand in my way. What is that? Oh, it's a bit of candle wax. Okay, so they have their kitchen. When I decorate, I can... Put some more uh, dishes about. They have lighting. Bathroom light worked. They have two bedrooms in here, which are unassigned right now. They have this bedroom, which is assigned, and I don't know who to. put some furnishings in here and this is also a sign of okay. so let's get this person a side table let's also get them a dresser oh that's desks I don't want desks some tables left from scrapping the settlement. I have one. Let's move this over here like this. Give them one of those square tables here, and a chair. So I have some of those left. It's his own tiny little studio apartment. I call it tiny. I think it's actually bigger than the first apartment I rented. Granted, that was about 24 million years ago, so... Can I 
attach this to something that looks like it's attached. Without clipping through a piece. Okay, it's hanging from that. What did I just do? I just put a light somewhere. I know I did. I just put a light somewhere. There it is. Son of a... This is what you get for trying to be sneaky. And not paying attention to what you're doing. Wanted to make sure that that was... Whoa, too close. Looking like it's attached and... Possibly... Pushing down on those pieces. And that doesn't reach the... F Whoa! Now I've done it. There we go. Okay, so it doesn't uh, do what I want it to do there, so I'm going to move it back here. And the light just barely reaches the table, it looks like. And because I didn't forget about the window. And it's late already. Uh, based on the uh, fact we've been doing this for two and a half hours, I don't think I'm going to get a third one of these houses today. Uh, my throat is exceedingly raw. Once again, those of you who do this on a regular basis for three to nine hours, and yes, I know some of you are gluttonous for punishment and do this for ex excessive periods of time. I don't know how you do it. Let's let's see if that uh that light's still up there. That's it's up in the ceiling somewhere. Can I get it from on top of the house? None of that. All right. Um, oh. It's not the most terrible thing I've done, but it's something that I'm going to have to fix by using the save that I already used that I made for the bathroom light, which is a few steps back. I'm not going to set you guys through that. I am going to make a new save. And I am going to take this opportunity to thank every one of you who's been here for the up to two and a half hours that you've put up with my hijinks as I've rebuilt both Kate's and now that uh, random settler's house. We are very far along in the refurbishing of the Sanctuary Hills housing community here. I will further investigate the 
yes. glitch that I mentioned earlier today about the uh, settlers unassigning themselves to their tasks when I tried to remove the plants that I didn't want to be farmed anymore. Um, I may end up having to leave them here, which, I mean, the, the mute, fr mute fruit doesn't look terrible. Uh, as tree, uh, trees along the street, but uh, I really want people to have different jobs here in the community than farming, and I'm hoping to put some jobs over near the uh, turkey buzzards retreat so that at the end of the workday more people will go up there because they're still not utilizing that space. Most of you know I've used, I've reassigned Marcy Long. She is a provisioner. Uh, June Long, Long is not long for this community, not to intentionally use that pun, but uh, he will be sent as a provisioner to whatever site currently doesn't have one. Uh, Sturgis will probably be reassigned to the castle. Uh, where he can further aid the Minutemen in their repairs there. And that will leave only Mama Murphy and uh, settlers who have come by the beacon. And if that doesn't enable me to safely remove the uh, plants without having everybody unassign themselves from their jobs, uh, I may... Uh, remove the com all the settlers that are here completely and deal with it in that manner. And then we can just bring new settlers in via the beacon. That being said, we'll see what, the, what happens. And as I said, I'm going to fix that light problem offline during the week. So thank you very much for staying with me today. I hope that you and your loved ones had a very merry, very happy Thanksgiving and that your Christmas plans are coming along nicely. Take care, everybody, and I shall see you 